from Kilipohe, Kikani Aloha. Aloha. All right, well, the coffee plant, the cherries are as ripe as they're going to get, I think. Uh, this is a dwarf coffee, and we learned last year that the cherries don't ever turn red. Mm -hmm. So we picked them when they were yellow, and we got a good cup, uh, cup of coffee out of it. So Aoli is going to go ahead and pick... All the right cherries. Oh, and they feel really nice and plump. So maybe we Squishy. can... Squishy? Um, yeah, maybe we can make the uh, coffee with the cherries too this time. Oh, yeah. Okay. We learned that the cherries are actually edible. Not that you want to, but you could make your cup of coffee out of that too if you dry it. All right, we'll come back when she's about done. All right, well, there's all our cherries off the tree. Looks like a couple pounds. We're going to weigh them, rinse them and weigh them. And uh, then they get all squished out. And pitted. And uh, dried. And then after a couple weeks, we hey. de-roast or get them ready. Okay, so here we all are washed and a little bit dried. And we're going to see what we got here. You stragglers about. Looks like uh, one and a half pounds of coffee cherries. Awesome. Cool. All right. So the next step is to smush them all up and get the beans out. And then we'll dry the beans. Okay. So we're just taking the beans out of the, the Cherry. cherries now. And really all we're doing is just giving a little squeeze to the to the cherry and the bean pops out there's machines that you can buy to do this that are a lot faster but you know for this little bit of beans it doesn't really seem to make much difference sometimes there's three which is interesting sometimes there's just one and i actually tasted this because it is a cherry and the bright yellow ones like this one actually have a nice vanilla flavor to them very faint cherry flavor and these things these aren't really those aren't coffee beans they're wannabes they're wannabes every once in a while we do get they stick to your fingers really well this is a really uh almost like jam consistency pulp so There is no um, traditional Hawaiian word for coffee, but we have a um, anglified word for it. It's kope, K-O-P-E. So it's kope. E. That A and, is an E. Yeah. In Hawaiian, it's pronounced <laughs> okay. E. Oh. We've lost containment. Every pit counts. Yeah. Now I'm just going to rinse these. Get some of the uh, leftover goo off. And then we'll put them in the sun to dry for a week or two. That's time we dried it for five days. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, for a week. So the husks are drying off and we can just pull them off and get them roasted. I wonder what our uh, pitted weight is now. Yeah, we'll see here in a minute. So you can really feel that slimy kind of coming off of them. These, uh, these have... Um, like a papery parchment coating on them still, which has to be removed before you roast them, which is why we dry them. Helps them to separate. And I think, um, you know, some people do uh, a fermenting step where you just soak them in water and let them ferment for a while. And uh, I think that's sort of meant to remove that as well.
Okay, so let's see. They're wet, so obviously it's going to be... Like gold rush. <laughs> we had one pound seven ounces before, and now we've got 13.6 ounces. Or in grams, that's 378 grams. There's all our cherries, and here's all our pits, are, aka coffee these beans. These are like wannabe Grimy. beans mm -hmm. that just kind of came out. Those, those didn't, didn't get a chance. Been, yeah. So now we'll spread them out on, uh, put them in the something sun? to dry on, and get them dry. Get them dry. Okay, so this is our drying setup. We got a couple of stout rocks placed in the pan to keep it from blowing off. Because these things, they may be heavy now, but uh, once they start to dry, they're going to be pretty light, and this could blow off really, really easily. I'm just going to get them spread out. Uh, I'll come out here, of course, and mix them up. Mix them up uh, periodically because they will try to stick to the pan. And they'll, they'll get a little bit smaller over time as they dry out. And then once they're good and dry, we'll get the uh, parchments off of them and get them roasted. Okay, so the uh, the beans have dried in the sun for a few days, and now we're going through the long and involved process of getting the beans, which is this, out of the shells. The, the shells. So this is a it's got a kind of a papery covering on it, and it. You know, it's so humid here in Hawaii, some of these things really absorbed a lot of water. So some of them are pretty, pretty moist, hard to crack. The way I do it is just grab the thing. It's got that little split in the center. Just peel that backwards. And then pull the little coffee bean out of there and put it in the bowl. Make sure you don't put the uh, paper part in the bowl, which I do about half the time. So. Okay, so we'll do this, and then after that, we'll roast. roast and then grind them and make some coffee. Okay, well, there's all our coffee cherries, coffee beans hauled. And they have these little papery covers on them, and that's all going to come off when we roast it. So let's see how much we have here. We're in grams, so it's a good rush. 136, 138 grams. And four point eight ounces. Wow. That's pretty good. And that's, you know, that's easily enough to make a couple of pots of coffee. When you roast them, they puff up quite a little bit. These look small now, but once we get them roasted, they'll be, uh, they'll be much larger. Okay, that's the next step. Well, the last step of our coffee production is to toast them. We've got a pan here with, uh, it's pretty hot. So we're just, just going to sprinkle a layer in there. I think it'll probably, yeah, it'll go out on the there. And, uh, get myself a spoon. I'm just going to kind of keep them moving. They'll start to crackle and pop. Snap, crackle, popping. See color. I think the last time I didn't let them go long enough. Oh, I think they once start. they go, once they get it, you know, kind of to color, it, they go real fast. 
I get those from brown to dark really quickly. Like toasty nuts. We're gonna get smoke them. That's pretty dark, isn't it? Yes. Are we worried at all about the ones with shells still? No, I think, I'm hoping it'll kind of, they'll come off when, uh, when they cool, you know, when it cools off, I think those will all come off. If they don't, I'll just blow them out. Nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. Okay, so there they are after roasting. I just put them in this um, sifter thing and just kind of messed them around a little bit. And most of that um, most of that paper stuff came off. So let's see how much we got here. Got 114 grams. And that's four ounces. Four ounces. That's a quarter of a pound of coffee beans roasted. And uh, I was shooting for a little darker roast. I mean, my hands are dirty. But that's so hard to get them. You know, when they're popping and stuff like that, it's real, it's real easy to overdo it. So... There's still some little bits of um, papery stuff on there. It sure smells good. It smells like coffee. And uh, so we're not going to drink it right now. We've got a party tonight, but we're going to have it uh, with the party. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we've got it all roasted. And uh, truth be told, you know, we, uh, we had a party... A few weeks ago and did have a whole pot of coffee that we made with uh, with our coffee but uh, really haven't done anything with it uh, it's really lightly roasted it's not a very dark roast at all um, next year when I do this I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to get the little skins off before I roast it because that really interfered with uh, being able to tell how roasted it was. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna grind it up here and make some make some coffee. You know, that's about two tablespoons. We had a whole pot's worth um, when we did the party. Uh, people said it tasted kind of like chocolate. Um, for me, it was just. It was just too lightly roasted. There wasn't uh, there wasn't enough flavor to it, but it tastes like coffee to me. So we'll see how it goes this time. Okay, so we get some water hot. Grind up our beans real good. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can see it's very light roast. Man, it smells really good though. It's a good smelling coffee. Got some hot water. Yeah, I'm used to a much darker roast. I usually have a, a Starbucks French roast. Which comes out a lot darker. All that good. Yeah, real, real chocolatey aroma from the coffee. Not, not super strong. Yeah, not bitter at all. Really, very flavorful, but. Uh, yeah, because I didn't get that roast quite dark enough, it's, uh, I don't know, it's chocolatey, but kind of a little green, I think. I don't know, you know, a lot of work for uh, a few cups of coffee, but the tree has the berries on it. Might as well pick them and, and process them. So we'll do it again next year. Aloha.